Hey, what's up, everybody? Jay Ho here with a DMZ update for you. Uh, if you are new to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead and click the subscribe button to make sure you stay up to date on all DMZ and Call of Duty news. So tomorrow, Infinity Ward has invited several well-known streamers to LA uh, to test out DMZ. Uh, I believe Warzone 2, maybe as well. I'm hoping just DMZ, so that way we can get a better look at that, because this is going to be a very in-depth game mode. This won't be as large as COD Next, but it will be a similar setup. So we'll go over a few things here for you to expect. All right, so number one to expect will be bugs and implementations that may or may not make it into the final version of the game. They, I know that they're making some changes after everybody gave their feedback on Warzone 2 um, when they played that last month. Um, so just expect that here moving forward. This definitely should be much better than Battlefield, I would, I would guess. Um, they've been working on this since 2018. They wanted to release it when the original Warzone came out um, or the original Modern Warfare came out, but uh, they've had three more years. Now, obviously, one of them was a COVID year, um, but still, that's a lot of extra time to develop this game. It uh, should be really well off, and uh, we definitely should be getting most of it. Um, but there still can be some things, still could be some bugs. So if you see some bugs or uh, some things change, don't worry about that. Let your voice know, because there is still time to make changes. Right, so number two, uh, this is going to be a lot slower pace than most people may be used to that play Call of Duty, uh, being as this game mode just is that way. So there's a little bit more in-depth to it. It's a little bit more rpg um, you know, killing isn't the way you win the game mode. Uh, it may surprise some, um, but you know, it's a lot of fun, uh, and just give it a chance. Uh, it takes some time to, uh, learn kind of how it goes. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it, but it's definitely going to feel a little bit slower because there is a lot more intense moments. Um, kind of like you remember when battle Royale first came out and like how intense it was. Um, these type of games give me that feeling, um, again. So I think that you'll enjoy it especially if you miss those feelings. Number three, if you are somebody that played Tarkov, don't expect this to be a Tarkov replacement. Not at all. Um, this is still Call of Duty. Um, you are still going to get, you know, highly arcadey things. Um, expect that. It's just going to happen. Number four, we're only going to get to see a few hours of this. Don't worry too much about spoilers or anything or uh, getting too in-depth into the story or anything like that. Uh, we're not probably going to get too many quests out of the way in just a few hours um, at most. And I know people like Landmark there that are professional Tarkov speedrunners, uh, but he doesn't know what he's getting into yet. You know, he doesn't know where certain things are. Uh, it's hard to speedrun something like that. So you're probably just not going to see a ton of progression in the short time that's there. But that's good. It'll allow us more so the ability to learn when we start playing. All right. So next we'll go over things that... I am looking to watch for that I believe that you should watch for as well. Um, my number one here is going to be the risk versus reward built within this game. Um, when you play games like this, typically, uh, you know, you have a lot to lose and a lot to gain. Um, so that's, that's really what you're going to be looking for with the inventory system, how that's going to be structured, you know, what you lose when you die, what you can gain. If you kill somebody, can you bring all their loot out? Um, is there insurance? Uh, there's just so many different little things that uh, you know you could could really change how this game works. I'm really intrigued to see how they place it all together in comparison to other games. Number two is going to be the artificial intelligence in this game. I've been playing around in the Spec Ops, and uh, you know it, there's a ground war mode that has AI in it, and they're just not very good. Just to be frank they got to be better than this uh, in this mode. If they're not, then it's going to be, it's not even going to matter, right? So when you play games like Tarkov, the AI is extremely strong and will one-tap you from a mile away. It happens all the time. That is what I come to expect from games like this. And, you know, I, I just hope it's in here. And number three, uh, the last thing that I'm going to be watching for is going to be the movement around the map as well as extractions. Uh, so for movement around the map, you know, we're going to be looking out for vehicles, uh, boats, helicopters, and uh, cars and such. I know that there's a quest that you need to repair, refuel, and extract with a vehicle for a quest. So does that mean we're going to be able to take vehicles to our bases, to our hideouts with us, to then go ahead and bring into maps? I'm not really entirely sure how that's going to be structured yet. 
Um, but that's very interesting. Very, very interesting to me. If you're excited about the DMZ like I am, welcome to the channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button again. It helps me out a ton to get discovered. If you appreciate the content, I'm sure other people will as well. Uh, but other than that, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.